Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Josh Trihane, and today we're gonna to be talking about a couple of different things that make a person want you more. Now specifically, I'm talking to some of you guys that clicked on this video that are either dating or in a relationship, or you're just like kind of wanting to know more ways on how to get somebody to either notice you or talk to you more or whatever it is that you're going for. So the things that I came up with today are just like different things that I hope will be able to kind of open up your mind a little bit and help you think of maybe some different ways to do maybe what you're already doing or to give you guys some new ideas on other things to try. So also they're jackhammering like right outside my window. So if you hear anything like construction wise, it's because there's construction going on like 50 feet away from where my camera is. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video and that's gonna be the topic. I do get questions sent to me all the time and I feel like they revolve so much around trying to get somebody's attention. So if you are wanting to get somebody to look at you more or to pay attention to you more or to talk to you more, these are some different things you can try and I hope that some of this helps you out. So I think that's something that people look over all the time is like actually going on fun dates. It's so easy to like do something that's quick or or do something that's like boring because you didn't really think about it. But if you put that little extra bit of like, okay, this is what we're doing and we're doing it because of this and it's gonna be really fun. I think like doing something like that, it doesn't take any time at all. And just going on fun dates opens up so much opportunity for that other person to see either like your personality or their personality and you guys get to enjoy doing something together. So if you are dating right now, that is a great way. Just like think about the dates a little bit more. And if they're always the one that are picking the dates and you feel like, oh, this is kind kind of boring or we could be doing something else that I feel like would be a lot more fun. Maybe like take that initiative and like plan the next date and try to do something that's maybe out of the box and gets you guys doing something that's a little bit different. And maybe that might be the thing that kind of like you realize, okay, we need to be going on more like exciting dates or doing something a little bit differently. Because I mean, if you're just going to a movie all the time, you're not getting to hang out with that other person <laughs> and it might be a little bit boring. And so yeah, maybe that's the first thing. Just switch up the dates a little bit, try something a little bit different. And maybe that's gonna be like the little spark that goes off where you're like, oh yeah, that's, this is working. And that might be the one thing that kind of keeps them coming back for more and wants them to go on more dates. All right, so the next one is for the introverted, <laughs> for the people that maybe are a little bit more shy. I feel like making the first move on dates is sometimes really important and something that might be that next step that that other person was waiting for. Making the first move in a relationship is like one of the scariest things because you're trying to piece all these things together of like, is this person actually into me? Do Would, they, would it be weird or make things weird? if I did make the first move. But I think that like it shows a lot of confidence and it shows that you know what you want. But being that person to like make that first move and actually put yourself there. And that might be like the thing that shows that other person that you are really committed to the relationship. Now also there's gonna be like telltale signs. Like if you feel like they're just super not interested, then maybe it's not a good idea to kind of put yourself out there like to make a move. I think that you're gonna get those signs of like that person's either spending a lot of time with you or you guys are going on all these dates all the time and it feels like it's just not going anywhere, you're making a step to either bring your guys' relationship to another place. And if that works, then that's kind of where you guys go. So just be confident and make that first move. And maybe that's what that other person is waiting for. All right, so moving on to the third one. And I think that this might be the most important out of all of them, because when you do show self appreciation and self and you like take care of yourself and you're going to the gym and you're making yourself look good and you're doing these things that basically just make you feel good about yourself, you radiate that to the other person, but it all comes down to that self care and that self appreciation. Now, when it comes to like self appearance, I feel like there are a couple things you can obviously do. You can go to the gym, you can get your hair done. One thing that I really enjoy doing is getting my teeth whitened and I enjoy doing it from home. The one product that I enjoy using and I talked about it in a couple past videos was Purely White Deluxe. And if you didn't see that past video, this is actually a product that I've been using now for a while and I absolutely love it. They have a super cool box. It actually feels really cool to open and close, but you get everything in here. I got my light. This is my next kit that I'm gonna be using. You get all of the uh, teeth whitening gel right here and you get the, uh, the tray that you put everything into. Now, another thing also is they have white strips. This is the uh, Moroccan mint flavor, which I got this time. So I'm excited to use these, but um, yeah, you guys have probably seen white strips before. You just put them on your teeth, leave them there for a little bit and then take them off and rinse your mouth out. So I love taking care of my mouth and my teeth. And I feel like if I'm smiling all the time, I wanna make sure that my teeth are white. And so these are the products that I use. Purely White has been such an amazing brand to have. And so if you guys want the same thing, Purely White Deluxe is the brand and the company that I am using and I absolutely love it. So I'll leave a link to them in the description that you guys can check 
check out if you want some super white tea. So moving on to the next one, and I think that I don't know why people are the way that we are, but I feel like people like a little bit of mystery. If you are dating somebody, don't give them every single thing about yourself on the first date. Try to like hold a little piece and like give it to them here and there and like on the next date and then the date after that and like open yourself up slowly so that over time you get to kind of like just tell them exciting things about you or they get to like learn something new about you every time that they see you. It's kind of like just watching like a series on Netflix. It's like you wait for that little piece in the next episode and the next one and it just like keeps you hooked in there. And so I think if you think about a relationship the same way or like dating the same way, then if you give them little pieces here and there, I think that ultimately it'll just keep that person really interested and that'll be the one thing that will kind of like be pulling them back and you guys will continue to go on more dates. So when you are going on these like super fun, exciting dates, because now you're thinking about that too, <laughs> I think to just like give them little pieces of information about yourself is something that will just keep it fun and exciting and the conversation will just continue to keep growing as you guys hang out with each other. So the two last things, the first one is common interests. I think that when you do have common interests with somebody, finding that out is very important, especially if you are just starting to date. If you can figure out what it is that you both enjoy doing, going on dates and having conversations is gonna be 10 times easier. Now also, if you guys do end up being together for a really long time, having those interests that you guys both enjoy doing is gonna be something that helps your relationship so much. There's so many times when like you wanna go and do something and if that other person that you're going out with is somebody that also enjoys doing those things, that just makes your relationship stronger. It gives you guys the opportunity to like have more fun together. It gets you guys excited about doing things together. And and at the end of the day, if that person is gonna be somebody that you're gonna be spending a ton of time with, why would you wanna put yourself in a situation where <laughs> that person doesn't like any of the things that you like? I think like finding common interests is like a very simple thing to say. To actually do it, I think is, is really important. And when you do enjoy doing things together, um, it makes everything a lot easier. It makes your guys' relationship a lot more fun. And if that person is somebody that you just started dating and you realize that you do enjoy the same things, they're most likely gonna be coming back to be with you and to hang out with you and to spend more time with you because you guys just like the same thing. So common interest is a very good place to start when it comes to dating. So one thing that we always forget, and when you think about yourself and you think about somebody else looking at you from afar, maybe they don't know you, one thing that they're gonna see is they're gonna see the way that you kind of portray yourself, they're gonna see your body language, they're gonna see all of that, and they're gonna make an instant decision when they see that. And so I think body language plays a bigger part than we'd like to think sometimes. And so if you have good posture, if you have horrible posture, like if you go somewhere and you're trying to get somebody's attention and you're turned away and you're out, hunched over and you're on your phone and you never look up. And so I think remembering body language as being a super important thing when you are putting yourself out there. I just think like that could be something that could help with like having more people either come up to you and talk to you if that's what you want or having somebody that you've already talked to come up and talk to you more because they see you and like you're just there waiting for them to come and talk to you. All right, so that is it for today's video. That is everything that I kind of wanted to talk about in terms of this topic. I feel like there's so many other avenues that you can take when it comes to like getting somebody's attention or having somebody want to come back to you after going on a first date and all of that stuff. And so if you guys do have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. I will try to make videos out of all of the questions that are asked. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button if you did enjoy today's video. The next video on this channel was probably gonna be a vlog and I would just wanna update you guys on like baby stuff and how life is going and what life looks like now after having a baby and all of that interesting stuff. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And with all of that being said, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.